Hello, my lovely individuals! As you can probably see, and as you probably suspected from the title of this video, I'm doing something a little different today. I've been meaning to try out the game here, Spiritfarer, for a long time. I've really been wanting it. It's been on my Nintendo eShop wishlist, and I finally got it. I was given a Nintendo gift card, and I went ahead and bought the game, so I'm gonna start it with you all today. I'm so happy. Also, Notice that I got a new game. Anyway, let's dive into Spiritfarer, and I hope you enjoy this little let's play for today. I love this intro. The little fire animation is so cute. I'm already impressed with the art style of this game. I think this counts as an indie game. I love the art in games like this. It's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's a cat. It's a cat. I already stand. I'm gonna play this game to the very end. Also, that's a gruesome young man. For some reason, his, like, the light under his cape or whatever you want to call that, his cloak, reminds me of, um, of the dude in Dead Cells that you play as. Ah, oh, finally, he says. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I don't know. I'm Charon. Fancy. The spirit fairer. I think we become the spirit fairer. Well, that is what I have been. I didn't even read that. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Who are we? We are Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Charon is assuming my cat's gender. Oh my gosh, my cat is named Daffodil. I don't even know if this is a cat. Daffodil is the cat's name, or whatever this creature is. You two will share the burden then and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the next spirit fear or new. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands and when they are ready, bring them back here. That seems like it's going to be a tedious task. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. That's so ominous. That's so sad. Oh my gosh, I loved this like view from the trailer. The big round bridge over there is the Everdoor. Everdoor. The Alpha where everything starts and Omega where everything ends. Interesting. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. I don't know what that means, but I'm intrigued. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we get his fancy little light. Yes. Now be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. We've got the ever door and the ever light. Everything is ever. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? Where did our cat go? Daffodil, come back. What is he doing? Oh, how highly inappropriate. What did Daffodil do? Look at him playing with the ball. Well, that settles it. The ever light will help you throughout your travels. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the way it sounds like he's like grunting when he talks or like, <laughs> like choking. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope. I didn't finish reading that either. I like obsessively click on my Joy-Cons, so I miss half of the dialogue in Animal Crossing too. Anyway, flying cat, we love to see it. The cat is so baby. I need to like Google and make sure that I know what creature Daffodil is. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Thanks, Charon. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairer after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Thanks. 
Mine is not suited for you and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time, probably. It's time, here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck, you will need it. Everything about this is so ominous. He's like, you might find a boat, and also you're gonna need some luck. Bye, I guess, forever. I'm just gonna enjoy this. The people who designed this game really just like killed off Charon. He's like a whole myth and they just killed him off. Oh my gosh, look at the paddle. Look at my cat on my shoulder. Okay, I feel like this game is really suited for me because I would 100% be a spirit fair with my pet cat. And look at the little loading screen. It is the cat playing with the Everlight. This is so well done. Okay, it looks like we're at a dock, I think. <laughs> can I jump? Hold on, I'm figuring out controls. I can climb. I can climb. I can run. Did the boat just... <laughs> it's ruined. Okay. Alright. Press B to jump. Hold B to jump higher. That seems easy. Hold down and B to drop. Ah, oh, I held it down too long. Is that a spirit? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Lex's world where we are incompetent. Look at that little deer symbol. Hmm. Oh, I think that might be the spirit. Never mind. I see. I see. Stella, it really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Hmm. You look good. That took a second. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Yes. Yes, he is. Hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess. That's accurate. Oh, it might not be that hmm. obvious after all. It's me. Gwyn. I have no idea who that is. Hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit mm. fairer. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week. Did you say he was living off of cigarettes? I can see you have an Everlight now. Of course. See that boat over there? That's a big boat! It's like its own island. Okay. <laughs> That's the one! Exclamation point. Mm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, mm. meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. I'm really I'm really invested already. This is interesting. Mm. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Fur coat. Oh, I remember! I remember this character from the trailer as well. How do I not remember the cat, but I remember everything else? Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory, anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. No way. Can we hug them? Oh my gosh. If I can figure it out. Yes. <gasps> Nintendo, are you looking? Mm. Let us do this with our Animal Crossing villagers. It's that easy. We just hug to that spirit. Oh my gosh, I love this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, the couch highlighted. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I can't figure out how to get off. Um, <laughs> I'm making the spirit mess. Oh, it's why. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized mm -hmm. testament to someone's something. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies. <sighs> why do mm -hmm. I keep skipping? There's only one way to clean this up. You mm -hmm. have to meet Albert. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. Is it shipyard? Shipyard? Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found. It will unlock mm -hmm. the cabin in the back. You should find a map projector. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, mm -hmm. remember? And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. 
I've been narrating this just in case you guys couldn't read it fast enough since I go so fast. But like, let me know in the comments. Definitely didn't read that either. Let me know in the comments if you prefer me reading aloud what it says or if you'd like me to just leave the message bubbles themselves on the screen for longer. Um, and I'll try to be more careful about that. Here we have the blueprint that she was talking about. I'm assuming the spirit is a she. Let's see. Here's Albert Shipyard. Okay, we have a little indicator. That in the top left, I think that is how close we are to our destination. Hmm. Yeah, it's moving. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean. It also explains hmm. why I couldn't do anything by myself. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Care on the ever door, the spirit fares, this plate, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering mm -hmm. what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. We stand a good friend. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Mm -hmm. Don't hesitate to explore. You can even give that fishing rod a try. We can fish. This is Animal Crossing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's see. That was like strangely easy to pick up on. I thought I was gonna have to wander around the ship to find the fishing rod. Let's see. Hold A to reel. I hope we get a shark. A herring. Okay. I wonder if they're like multiple fish or if it's just the herring. Also, we're almost to our destination! Or like more than halfway. I can't wait to meet Albert at his shipyard. Okay, we've got another herring. Maybe they're just common? I really like this gameplay so far, I'm not gonna lie. Also, the fact that there's constantly a little cat following you around, A+. plus. That was a brilliant design choice. Okay, this is another herring, so I'm going to assume that's all you can catch. No, don't. I uh, I keep forgetting that, like, what button you used to get out of things. It's Y. Y. I'm used to being on Xbox and pushing B, which is A on the Switch. I want to see... Oh, I think we're at the shipyard. Cool beans. Albert Shipyard discovered. We love to see it. Oops, okay. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear the clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Okay, so I guess we'll get to see, like, resource gathering. Seven different types of dirt and dust. Alright. Oh my gosh, a little boat! How did I not notice this sooner? That's so cute. I guess it's just gonna be me and, uh, me and Daffodil. I'm excited. This is our first, like, non-boat location. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. He looks kind of... He looks like a threat. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. Okay, salesman. He really... He looking goofy. I don't like that. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Yes. Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha, huh, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy? I don't know how to pronounce that. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Okay, buddy. See, Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. Everybody hated Charon, this poor guy. But the customer is always right. We love customer service. I built him a newer, better one. Okay, so we get the little, the little dank arc. Honestly, it's kind of a vibe. Old habits die hard, but don't worry. You can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Oh my gosh, guys, he's a loan shark. He's a loan shark. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. What does that mean? I'm not- I don't know- what? Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. 
Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. We love a generous loan shark king. The sequin upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them. Okay, we need to direct him to upgrade the ship. I kind of like the menu that comes up when you're interacting with other characters. Like, it's kind of, it's unique, I think. At least to me, like, I haven't played a game with the same kind of system for dialogue. Oh, these are so, I literally have zero of whatever those are. <laughs> oh god, okay. Whatever, I assume I'll get them eventually. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on the boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is ready to be upgraded. Cheers. Alright, sounds good to me. That's kind of exciting though. I think you can like add a ton of different buildings and things to your boat so it looks like a little mini like castle on the water. Good, Gwen says. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now, cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table. In it, you'll find... You know what? <sighs> Someone smack me. Where even is the blueprint table? Above my cabin. Above my cabin. Is that where I am now? I can't interact with anything here. Okay, it's not this. <laughs> Where is the blueprint table? I love being, um, unintelligent. Oh my god, it's up there. Okay. We can edit. Okay, so I can move this trash? Oh, that's convenient. It gives you a little grid. I don't know what it's like. What am I? What am I supposed to do? I didn't get like a little quest thing saying that I'd completed it. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Not this. Not jump around. Okay, clear the trash with edit mode. Okay, so I just missed. I miss some sort of command. Oh, I bet salvage, yeah. Okay, so now we get these little items. Maple log, empty bottle, old shoe, and carpet. Gwen is so pleased. We love to see it. You did a wonderful job, Stella. Thank you. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Okay, that's fun. So I guess it's like where the spirits stay while they're here. I keep getting distracted by Daffodil. Look at him playing. He's playing with the little Everlight. Oh my god. Is the spirit smoking? Newly welcomed spirits such as myself. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you for sure no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night here. That's so rude. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. So we're just going to go up to the blueprint table and build this guest house. None of these is a guest house. Here we are. 20 out of 10 maple logs. That's not a lot. 10 maple logs for this guest house. And there we have it. This is like the origin story for our little boat castle. Is it rude to go in before Gwen does? <laughs> the guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. That seems like an insult. Nice work, as usual. Now at least I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh. Wait. What is going on? Literally nothing. Something else is happening. Dot dot dot. Ah. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. That was so dramatic. That was so dramatic. Okay, we're a fantastic cook. You might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table and build a kitchen. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Damn, you require bright jelly. 
And there's only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only the jellyfish can give it to you, so there's no other option. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Let's go! Okay, that was kind of accurate though. Why is it so dark on the map? That's fun. I can't wait to see these bright jellies. Or what? <laughs> the jellyfish, I mean. So I guess while you're traveling, you can just do your own thing. Like, I'm gonna fish and I think I'll probably skip this part. So, see ya when we get to the jellies. Okay, we're in Spookville. I feel like I'm just standing in another portal. Damn, here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's too scary out here. I thought the whole point was that Gwen could do it because we were here. Why are we alone? Okay, so there must be a bright jelly coming. Look at the little jellyfish. I'm just pushing A with the hopes that that's all I'm supposed to do. This is pretty chill, not gonna lie. Look at me getting glims. I guess that's the currency for this game, glims. Is that like short for glimmer? That's pretty cool. Now I kind of want to come back and do the jellyfish again. Like as soon as this is over. The things in the foreground kind of look like glowing dark caterpillars. I'm such a pro. Look at me go. Look how many I've missed. Oh no. I guess it doesn't matter as long as I get the glim. Or not the glim, the bright jelly. I love- I'm low-key vibing with the music in this part. The, like, dark violin sounds. I have no idea if that's a violin sound. It's nice though, it's nice. Look at this guy, I can't wait to see how many glims I have now. I wonder if I can already go back to Albert's shipyard and buy something. This is a horde of these bad boys. I wonder how long this is. Like, how long, how long do I have to catch these? Or pop them? That's kind of gruesome. We're just like invading the jellyfish's territory and popping them to get their insides. Anyway. Oh, I think we did it. I think we did it. Yeah, yes, we made it out. Okay, I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star and without the slightest fear. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Okay, drama queen. Let's get to cooking here. I'm just going to put it beside the uh, guest house. Not getting creative yet out here. Mm -hmm. Lovely kitchen. We're really doing the most for Gwen right now. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient and wait for it to cook. You could even try these corn kernels. Ooh. We making popcorn in here. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert. He definitely is a shark. <laughs> what? Wait, is she calling him like a lone shark? They look like classical myth, a bit cliche if you ask me. Let's go cook. We've got corn and we've got fish. I wonder, like, how do you know that it's done? I guess that's a timer on the wall. I could go for amusement right now. I don't have any amusement. Also, how do you get them out of the oven? I feel like this shouldn't be something. I have baby gloves! Oh, I just got them out too early, so now I just have herring. Okay, I'm gonna cook some of the uh some of the corn. 
and see if that cooks faster. I am incompetent. I keep pushing X to cook without actually putting the corn over there. Oh, this one's super fast. Okay. We'll give, uh, we'll give Gwen some of this since uh, they're super hungry now. I can smell it. I see you. I know you're hungry. If I push X one more time. I think I'm just gonna put... Maybe three of the fish. I hope it doesn't, like, cook them into one dish. Like, I hope it still keeps them separate. Mm. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Will do. If I want it, oh, food. Okay. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food and that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. That's an interesting stipulation. Like, I mean, I guess I'll learn how to gather food, but that's a lot right now. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obel is a symbol of... I can't... wow. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, the blueprint table, there is a field and a garden. You can grow things on the ship. An adorable farm. You should add a field first. And you can grow linen in it. I'm just kind of skipping through this. It feels like a lot of exposition. You need seeds to use. It's called Moss Dying Cove. Yeah. Yay, we're going to another island. We have another mission. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Gwen is happy. Yeah. We love to see it. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed, ready to start again. And speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Oh. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right mm. time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm. Have a good night. I'm just gonna go to sleep because it YOLO and I can't wait to ring that bell. Um, I think that's such a cute part of the game. Well, that was super calming. Pardon me while I learn my my controls here. We get to we get the ring. Oh my gosh, Gwen came out like immediately. That's so precious. I love the little bell. I wonder if we'll ever be able to have like more than one what should we call it? Um, more than one spirit aboard, or if it'll always be just the one. I feel like it'd be kind of overwhelming to be doing several quests at once. Here's our second batch of herring that I cooked overnight. We got five grilled fish, baby. I feel like I should just go ahead and cook everything, but I'm also worried like what if uh, something, like what if corn or fish are needed in some random recipe and I've cooked all of mine? Oh well. Okay, with that handled, I keep forgetting, but if you hit the minus button, the little line at the top, you can see your objectives for the game. So I'm going to head to the island that Gwen mentioned so we can see about getting materials for the filled. Filled the field? Whatever. So I'll see you when we get to Moss Time Cove. We made it, kids. Maybe we'll find something interesting, Gwen says. I'm gonna check their mood. They seem fine. I'm interesting about the mood, or interesting. I'm interested in the mood perks. Like, I wonder what that'll mean for me going forward. 
I'm just gonna hug Gwen and hope for the best. Feeling much better. I think the mood is the same though, honestly. Oh my gosh, is Gwen gonna join us for this island? They just dropped. They just dropped into the mini boat. I know I'm only like 30 minutes into playing this game, but I'm already so in love with how everything is designed, like how the gameplay is done. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Something to do with the Everlight, interesting. Oh, so like it grows, like the stump will regrow as a tree. That's interesting. Look at the cat. Little baby, little smart baby. Well done. I wanna get these uh, like berries, I guess. Raspberries, nice. Let's see what Gwen says. Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. I swear to God, the spirit is so dramatic. Cutting down more trees, then we can go back to the boat and build the field. I'll be next to the raft. All right, let's go on an adventure. Here's another sizable tree. I like the mechanic for this as well. Once their saws connect, you just go like back and forth with your joystick. So that's pretty cool. And you get all these maple logs, all nine of them. We cut down that whole tree. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die in the water. I'm screaming. Okay. Let's see. Everything that like highlights you can interact with. Oh god, that hurt. Okay. I wonder if I have to go as long as I can holding the axe, like the pickaxe. Or if I can just do like this several times. Oh. Oh, okay. I think we needed limestone for one of the builds as well, so I'm glad I came over here. Okay, I don't think you can <laughs> I don't think you can swim elsewhere, so I'm gonna go back and find Gwen. It's kinda difficult to get back on the islands and things. Because you can't just like jump up. You have to go back to the edge of whatever you're trying to get on. It's the same thing for a lot of the um a lot of the parts of the boat. Still twelve out of ten though. Still loving the mechanics of this game. I wonder if we have to wait for Gwen to get in the boat. Like, will they not move until you've done everything? Or maybe they'll, like, appear? I really hope I didn't just leave Gwen. Please, God, be on the boat. Yes, there they are. I'm not sure what exactly I should be doing. Let me see if I can build the field. I can build the field. Okay, I needed limestone for it. Makes sense. I'm glad I journeyed forth and mined that huge rock. I wonder how big the grid gets as you, like, gain more buildings. Because I'm keeping everything close just in case I don't have a lot of space. But, like, what if I could make it into a really cool tower? A field, Gwen says. He's really teleported. Ah, huh, it's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. How do you say that word? Someone please help. Simple but elegant. Now, all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds mm -hmm. won't grow in the field. I kill a plastic cactus. Anyway, there's one way for But Theodore specializes in seeds. He has set up shop in Hummingburg. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but this feels like a direct attack. Theodore? Um, Raccoon Inc. Is Gwen talking about Tom Nook of Nook Inc.? <laughs> this cheeky little raccoon. His dishonesty was blatant. I don't know, I'm seeing some parallels. No hate on Tom Nook, but I'm seeing some parallels here. You all didn't know this was actually going to be a Spirit Fair Animal Crossing crossover Let's Play. 
but I guess we'll go and see what the lad has to offer. Oh, it looks like we have more jellyfish too. Or whatever. I guess it could be something else to another monster. I wonder if you can go back or if you can only go forward whenever you're like journeying, whenever you're traveling. Like, could I go back to the jellyfish that we've already been through again? Because presumably I can visit Albert. Anyway. That, this, I don't know, this game is so... I'm like so invested already. And we've barely done anything. Like, I can't wait to see what other kinds of spirits I get to deal with. And look how cool I look when I'm jumping. Like, this is all great. This is all lovely. Okay, so I took a break from the mic, but look what I found out you can do. If you, like, kneel, you can cuddle with a daffodil. Oh my gosh. I love this game. You can hug the spirits. You can cuddle your cat. This is everything Animal Crossing refuses to give me. These games are not comparable at all. Like, they're completely different gaming experiences. I'm just being dramatic. It seems we have found Hummingburg, where Tom Nook, who is disguised as Theodore, is residing. Also, I know that Tom Nook is technically a Tanuki, or however you say that word, but I just think it's funny because in the English version on Animal Crossing, he's referred to as a raccoon, so this was just hilarious to me. Before I board this boat, I think I'm going to end it here today. Um, if you want to check out Theodore, aka Tom Nook, definitely check out this game on the eShop. I think it's about $30 and, or I'm talking about USD, but this game is so good. The art is so good. This is not a paid promotion at all. I'm just a genuine fan. Um, thank you all so much for watching and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of Spirit Spiritfarer from me. If you are still on the fence about buying it, do you want to know anything about the game? Do you already have it? How do you feel about the game? Just talk to me in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!